All right, I'm here with Pedro is gaming. We're gonna go ahead and go over his trophy list and kind of uh, get a rundown from him of you know things he's liked, the things he's done, and see his opinion on his trophy list. Uh, first off, we got here we got uh, sound shapes. Uh, that's one of your most current little trophies that you've been doing. Uh, haven't quite finished yet, but you're doing good on that so far. Um, so, what do you like about sound shapes? Do you think you'll finish it? Or do you think you won't finish it? Yeah, I think uh, most of first of all, hello everybody. Um, and no, I think I can finish because of the death mode. Yeah, those things are pretty hard. Um, so what else about you that we need to know before we kind of get really in depth? Well, my name is Pedro, as you all guys <laughs> must have seen in my PSN ID, Pedro is Gaming. I am from Portugal. I'm a student, and uh, I'm a trophy hunter in part-time. Okay. Um, do you play games for mainly trophies or for fun? Well, I play, I play games for trophies and for fun, of course. Um, I like a good story. Okay. We're kind of scrolling down your list. Uh, one of the games you're working on right now is Get Off My Lawn. How's that game going for you? Yeah, Get Off My Lawn... Um, it's an easy game, but um, I can't do the 100% right now because there is two trophies glitched on me, and I can't do it because the trophies that glitched are a little bit hard because we need to accumulate some kills, uh, 500, 5,000 5, grunts, mm -hmm. and uh, 1,000 tanks, I think. Okay. What about Minecraft Story Mode? How did you like that game? Wow, Minecraft Story Mode was stunning for me. A Telltale game is always good. Um, a good story, good graphics. Um, yeah, I'm playing the extra episodes, 6, 7, and 8, and I'm enjoying. What about Puss in Boots? How would you like that one? <laughs> well, for me, Puss in Boots um, is, a kid, is a kid's game, but uh, it was very good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Good graphics. Uh, the trophies can be tricky in the Virtuoso one. Okay. Uh, and then I see you did the MLB Home Run Derby. Very easy, uh, 100%. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it was just pretty easy just to get those trophies? Yeah. Well, basically, you need just to, as the title says, home run. You need to do a home run uh, to the right, to the center, and to the left. And bang, trophies. All right, cool. Uh, next game we're talk about is Walking with Dinosaurs Wonder Book. Uh, what do you think about that game? Well, I bought that game um, in the by the PlayStation Store, the Portuguese version, and I bought that game with uh, Dix Nightcrawler at ten euros. So I liked that game. Uh, I have now more knowledge about dinosaurs than I had before. It's very easy. Cool. Um, some of the next 100%s we'll see here, uh, you got Doodle God, um, and Doodle Devil trophies. Uh, how'd you like those? Uh, what'd you think about them? Yeah, uh, Doodle games are very easy. If you follow a guide to do the combos, mm -hmm. you can basically do the Doodle Devil and the Doodle God. And I'm including now the PS Vita version. And then we can people include the PS4 version, but PS3, PS Vita, you can do them in three hours or less if you rush until the end. Okay, and I also see you did Doodle, was it uh, Doodle God, Doodle Devil as well? Doodle, Doodle Kingdom. And then yeah, you're working on Doodle Kingdom. Uh, Bloodbath, what do you think about that one? Yeah, Bloodbath is a very good game, a PSN game. Um, it can be tricky in the um, because the combos you can't do it fast. You need to do it slowly, and that can be a pain in the ass because the the system doesn't register to the trophy. Mm. Um, you can farm the XP in the blood bat matches. You just need to kill them every enemy you see, and then it's easy. And please be aware, create a new user. You don't need to create a new account, but back up your save file. Okay, and you did Wonder Book, uh, uh, the Book of smell, uh, Spells, uh, so that's probably the same as Dinosaurs. Terminator yeah. Salvation, what did you think about that one? Was it good, hard? It was a good game. Uh, I love the Terminator Salvation movies, 
uh, and I enjoyed the game. The Terminator uh, game can be tricky in the end. For me, it was because when you play it on the higher difficulty to achieve the platinum in no time, the trophy that um, asks you to mm-hmm. play the game in the higher difficulty can glitch, and then you have to... It is not a big glitch because you can repeat the last mission that is just running in the hall and then you play it on hard difficulty and uh, when you achieve the end, the trophy pops and the platinum so. Okay, what about trying to... uh, Pretty easy game, right? Yeah, you can do it in four... Two, four hours depending on skill and co-op partner. Thanks to Panos, aka New Wolf, uh, Lone Wolf in his new account, he helped me with most of the trophies. Cool, cool. And he did Daytona USA, I see that. Hattable uh, Boyfriend, I see that. Those are pretty easy games. Now yeah. we're down to Resistance Burning Skies. Uh, what did you think about that one? Resistance Burning Skies is an excellent PS Vita game. Everyone should play it because a game that can be done in easy difficulty... The only thing that can be tricky is the art, is the final boss, a, uh, a big beast with cores in his arms, head. You just need to be aware that can glitch a little, and then be uh, join some friends, motivate them to buy the game because the online servers are dead. You just need f- three friends. You are the fourth player, and then you can do the platinum in no time. Oh, cool. Uh, also. We got some other games here. We got uh, The Walking Dead, Michonne. Uh, I didn't really like that one. All that great out of all of them. It, I thought it was okay. What do you think? It, um, Telltale, a great company, again presented us with uh, The Walking Dead miniseries. The Walking Dead, Michonne was um, a good game, good graphics, a, a good story. Mm-hmm. But again, as a game we'll talk later, Tales from Borderlands. It is not such an emotional, and it can't, in my opinion, it can't, um, it can't make the player feel something about the game. Right, right. Um, and then, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Cartoon Network, uh, Punch Time, you were kind of working on that, haven't finished that. You should be yeah. hopefully getting that one finished. Um, next we got uh, Minecraft, uh, PlayStation 3 Edition. Uh, what do you think about that one? Uh, I bought Minecraft not for trophies because I bought it one week later of his release. Mm-hmm. I started playing Minecraft and I had a very luck because deep down my house I had a hand portal and that made things easier for me for the mm-hmm. trophies. Mm-hmm. Back then you could use glitches, good glitches, not bad glitches. And... Um, I kept uh, helping people achieving those hard trophies like the end, uh, sniper duel. And then when I asked for help in these DLC packs or new trophies, oh, sorry, I can't. And so uh, people like to be helped, but Mm -hmm. when they need to help, they are bad people. Right, right. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, what do you think about that? A good game. Good game, I good loved, game. yeah, I loved that game, um, but um, you need to. Some characters are so bad to play, like Toro. He's so mm-hmm. little, and then it makes the whole game a mess because the online is dead nowadays. I yeah. don't know back then. Uh, it is very bad that you need to repeat the game with all the arcade characters. They are too many, in my opinion. Right, right. Um, and what else we got here? Minecraft. Uh, PlayStation Beta Edition, and uh, I know Ocero's helped you and me. Uh, Want to shout out to him. Um, so that's probably the same thing as the uh, PS3 yeah. version. So we kind of talked about that. Uh, moving on down a little bit, we got a Sonic the Fighters. What do you think about that game? A little, a little game. It takes roughly one hour to do it. I did some breaks, so I played one time. It took me more than one hour, but it's easy. Don't need to be worried about it. It just free trophies. Yes, you can yes. do it in no time. Yeah, it's very simple. Very simple. Um, trying to see what else you got here. I uh, see so you do some Assassin's Creed games. Uh, are you a Assassin's Creed fan? Yeah, I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. Uh, it is a good saga. 
as I'm a fan of Prince of Persia, and I like the movies too. Assassin's Creed will present as a movie this year. Uh, nice. I hope. I hope it will be good as the games. What about Paint Park? I've never played it. Yeah, Paint Park is a free game. Um, you just do some. You just do some painting, and it publishes on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you receive some trophies, but um, there is one trophy that uh, asks you to achieve all the colors. And then I didn't know how to do it, but I need to spend money mm -hmm. to have the co the black color, the dark black color, to have this trophy to 100%. So please be aware that you need to spend some money, I think. Okay. Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Inventions or Investigations. What do you think about that one? Yeah, I'm a massive fan of Adventure Time. So when I saw this game at a promo, I bought it immediately. And um, I I think the game is very good. Graphics, uh, the trophies are very easy. Please use a video guide if you are trying to platinum this game because you can get a little bit lost. Cool. What about Up? Uh, Disney's Up. Well, uh, that is a game that I think almost all PSN users have, the ones that like trophy hunting. Mm -hmm. Up is a very easy game. Don't need to be worried about it. Just ask a friend to go to your house to play with you because it can make it easy when playing the, the level of the crocodile or the anaconda to the trophy. Mm -hmm. Also, you did The Walking Dead Season 2, uh, one of my personal favorites as far as The Walking Dead goes. What do you like about that? Yeah, but for me, The Walking Dead is the best, are the best games that I have ever played, because there are more than one, mm -hmm. uh, and the miniseries. Um, the Walking Dead Season 2 is a game that can bring us to the more old Clementine. We can see that she's changed. Mm -hmm. in body and spirit and the players can get emotionally lost because we can find spoiler alert we can find Kenny our lost friend in the first season yeah I really liked uh, finding Kenny that was kind of a shocker for me but uh, uh, yeah uh, I'm a big uh, Walking Dead fan myself so it's good to see people really enjoy the game I'm sure a lot of people even trophy people that aren't trophy hunters enjoy that game and can, you know, get their first platinum on that first one if they play it. Um, another one we've got here is Hitman Go Definitive Edition. I used a guide. I had to, or else I would have never beat the game. And did you use a guide, and what do you think about the game? Yeah, the game is a good game if you like the puzzle style and Hitman games. Mm -hmm. Personally, you cannot platinum these without a video guide. Yeah, you can platinum this game without a guide. You can platinum all the games you want to without a guide, but it will make your life a lot worse without a guide. I prefer to use a video guide. Mm -hmm. I can do all the moves. It can take you a little while because you need to watch the video, and pause it, and play it. But I liked it, and you can earn a very good platinum with it in your work, at your uh, at your school, everywhere you want. Yeah, that's what I did. I used the video guide. It was just a whole lot easier to just watch it, pause, watch it, pause, and then uh, eventually platinum the game. I thought it was pretty good, yeah. though. Um, let's see what we got next here. Scrolling down your list a little bit. Um, Steins Gate, me and you talked about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Life is Strange. Uh, I thought that was a great game. People said the ending could have been better. What do you think about it? Yeah, I think the ending could be better. Uh, Life is Strange is a very, very good title and solid one. I'm happy the first episode is free for all platforms because people that don't have, don't have so much money or don't have the opportunity to play it can download it for free. Have this marvelous experience. I love, I loved it. Um, uh, Michael, please um, say your opinion. The final parts that need to be the solve a problem in rooms and some some dark. We, how can I say the garden that uh, Chloe and uh, the water girl uh, mm -hmm. Joe? Uh, yes, it can be a little tricky. Yeah, yeah, I could. Um, but uh, I thought it, I thought it was a very good game. 
but yeah, like some people said, it, it could have had a better ending. But I, I still really enjoyed it. The first four se- or episodes were really, really good, really good. Um, but the last one kind of lacked a little bit of uh, uh, spice or whatever you want to say. Uh, I know yeah, it would make could, it really good. Yeah, it could be done with a little more of emotions. Uh, it is a very bad ending because it's like a TV show. You are expecting that the ending... Uh, is like that. No, the players need to feel that they were tricked about it. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but all in all, I thought it was a good game. So. Yeah. But uh, I think they might be making a part two. I'm not sure. I think I heard yeah. rumors. Yeah, internet is going crazy since um, some games that people were expecting the part two is they are coming. For example, Watch Dogs. Yeah, I'm not really worried yeah. about that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I played it, uh, didn't like it so much, but people were saying, oh, Watch Dogs, and they appeared. So people are saying, oh, uh, for example, Beyond Two Souls, they want a new one, Avi Rain, uh, but they are appearing. Yeah, yeah. They are starting appearing. Then Actual Sunlight, uh, we talked about that. That's an easy game. Uh, Mega Mind is another one of those ones that pretty yeah. much every... Uh, well, beginner to intermediate to professional trophy hunter should probably get and do. Um, do you agree about that? Of course, every every people, even people that not trophy hunt, mm-hmm. but they say, oh, I want to, a profile now that uh, needs to have uh, at least one platinum. Mm-hmm. There are games, there, there are so many games that you can have 10 to 20 Platinums in no time. You can do them, redo them in another account that you won't lost any time. They are really easy. Mega Man is one of them. Up, Cabela's Adventure Camp, um, Rango, uh, and Terminator. Yeah. Uh, Abs Animals, you've done twice. We know that's pretty easy to sit there and let the cat do its thing. Um, The Wolf Among Us, I thought was another great game. What did you think about it? Yeah, another of Telltale's great game, The Wolf Among Us, presents us with Sheriff, a wolf, a werewolf. Um, the game was very good. I liked the ending when he mm-hmm. fought that woman. Mm-hmm. This time I won't spoil the game. Uh, yes, the trophies aren't that hard. You just need to collect all the fables. And yeah, Dink Platinum. Yep, yep, very cool. Uh, the Walking Dead Season 1 for Vita. Uh, great game, super great ending. What's your opinion on it? Yeah, uh, as most of us in Life is Strange and The Walking Dead, some people cried at the end, and I can't say that I was one of them because the game was so beautiful. And I was keeping Googling, is there any secret ending for, Ken, uh, for Lee? Can I save Lee? But unfortunately, Telltale can't. Have secret tennis in these games. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think uh, a lot of people cried, including myself. It was just one of those ones where just you're just like, really, you have to kill this guy that you've been having as a father figure for this whole time, and I, now you gotta make the choice to to kill. Yeah, him. she she learned how to fire a gun with Lee. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, he taught her a lot of things, and then you had to just do it because it's the only the, the only thing that you could have done, or the best thing for both of you. So. Yeah. One one of those games that just really grabs you and just sends a you know chills up your spine. So, uh, Game of Thrones uh, for PS3. What did you think about that one? Yeah, great game. I loved it. Another ten Telltale's great game. Well, it could be better in certain points. It start to get boring because uh, people were dying, people were fighting. People were getting messed up. People were getting limbs cut off. Well, it could be better, but a great title. Yeah, very good. Um, I thought it was a good game. Uh, It did run a little too much. I think it was a little too in-depth. But if you like Game of Thrones, I'm sure you'll like that game. Um, Detuned, uh, very fast, very easy, uh, 100%. What do you think about that one? Yeah, Detuned and other games like Abs Animals are games that you can do pretty easy in in no time. Even when you are in a break of your work or school or doing doing your homeworks, you can do it and have trophies in no time. You can uh, buy a prepaid PSN card of 20 bucks and you can have unlimited trophies for an hour. 
Yep. Tales from the Borderlands for the uh, PS3. What did you think about that one? I thought it was okay. Well, it was a great title, again, from the Telltale Company, but this time I felt no emotion playing this game because I think it was too too serious. It wouldn't... The player, and in my opinion, I, I couldn't feel the emotional bond like Clementine and Lee. Um, Game of Thrones had some emotional bonds. Mm-hmm. I couldn't feel it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next game, Mag- Magus or Magus, however you want to say it. I thought it was an okay game, easy, easy platinum. What do you think about it? Yeah, platinum can be done roughly. The top time in the world, I think, is one hour and a half. Yeah. So, well, I think people are starting to think we can make these trophies and platinums in no time. So, yeah, Magus, but be aware, buy Magus in a promo. I bought it at one euro. Because I won't give more than this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goat Simulator. Thought it was uh, somewhat fun. Uh, everybody's f- uh, demise seemed to be, uh, what is it, Flappy Goat? Flappy Goat. That was horrible. What would you think about that? Yeah, I could. I started to do the Platinum in the morning. I could do it in three, about three hours because I was following some guides. Mm-hmm. And collectibles. Collectibles can take some a little bit of time because you are pausing, uh, playing, pausing, playing. But um, Flappy Gold took me two hours, and then this is not my fastest Platinum. Right, right. Um, and again, you had another version of Steins Gate. looks like you got stuck on. Um, yeah. Um... Like I said, I'll I'll eventually put up a video guide. Maybe that'll help you get unstuck okay. if that's the issue. So, um, let's see what else here. Played a little bit of Call of Duty Ghost. Um, are you a Call of Duty fan? Yeah, I'm a Call of Duty fan. I uh, I am near of two Call of Duty's platinum, but one more time, people like to be helped. Mm-hmm. I helped them in the infection mode in Call of Duty Ghosts and in Exo Survival, I think. And when I need help, they don't help. In uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I get with some friends, and they st- one friend of mine, I won't say the name, the he earned some trophies in that mode. And when I asked, him, that was my turn to earn the trophies. He didn't. Uh, he didn't help me. Mm. Yeah, it happens and, all the time. Yeah, and in Advanced Warfare. Uh, I created a gaming session in PSNProfiles.com, and uh, when the time was near, they, nah, any of them didn't appear. Mm-hmm. Murdered Soul Suspect, we all know that has a lot of uh, collectibles. Collect- we'll kind of skip over that one. Uh, yeah. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, how'd you like that game? Uh, I've never been able to get into Prince of Persia games. As a fan of Assassin's Creed, Prince of Persia is a good title. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can do the Platinum, and almost every game of the Prince of Persia saga you can do it roughly in one day. Right, right, yeah. I I just never, I've never been into like the Assassin's Creed games. Just just not for me, it's not for everybody. I tried it, and I, I just didn't really care for it. But, you know, it's not everybody's game. Um, but yeah, uh, what about National Graphic, uh, Geographic Challenge? I see you're sitting at yeah. 55%. Yeah, that was one of my problems with glitches. Uh-huh. Uh, two trophies glitched, and me that was gathering 5,000 points, I think, and playing on hard. I did it sometimes. I need to uninstall it and restart. But then there is a problem. I started to do the puzzles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And some of them are quite difficult because I'm not a people of puzzles. And when I have, I have the two of three or two, two or five, I don't know. And then I think it's a little bit horrible to start all over again the puzzles. Yeah, Invisimals, uh, The Lost Kingdom, uh, we kind of talked about that one. Um, what's your? Do you think it's kind of hard or no? No, it's very easy. Um, I remember I did 62% of the game in trophies, and I was sick. I was, at, I was in my bed mm-hmm. because I was sick and I did it. And it Everyone, and if you feel uh, normal, if you aren't sick, you can do the 100% in no time. Yeah. Um, Hannah Montana, everybody loves to loves to hate this game. What do you think about it? Hey, man. Hannah Montana is the game 
that people are ashamed of because they say it is not a good game, it's a game for trophy whores. I don't like that term because this game is better than many games that are in the market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think and so, yeah, too. Yeah, we can play it. Yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest game, of course, but it's not it's not horribly bad. Um, yeah. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Uh, that's probably about similar as uh, the other Prince of Persia game you've played. Um, what about Prototype 2? I really liked it. It did drag a little bit. took a little bit longer than I wanted to. What do you think about it? Yeah, uh, Prototype 2 is a lot easier than Prototype 1. I tried Prototype 1, and it was a mess. Mm -hmm. Prototype 2 is a game that you can enjoy. Mm -hmm. You sit back... Uh, Try on hard. Uh, it's not too hard. The last fight you should see a walkthrough because you can get a little bit messy with the controls and the soft spots of the Alex Mercer. Yeah. So yeah, it's an easy platinum. Yeah, I, I I personally played it on easy first. Got all the side missions, everything done, everything everything except playing the hard mode. And then yeah, I ran through I ran through it real quick and and beat it. So yeah, that uh, happened to me. I did that twice. So uh, what about Mafia Two? What do you think about that game? A great game. I loved. Mafia 2, it has a, a good graphics, good story. I, I, I love the story mm -hmm. because the, ma the Mafia 2 story can make the players deep inside of it. And there are some collectibles that is the worst of the game because I don't know if that happened to you, Michael. I need to reload some chapters mm -hmm. uh, because the collectibles didn't appear on the map and in the place. So I need to reload. And then... There is no free room. That was the worst part. Yeah, yeah that kind of sucked. Um, let me see. I, I like the game. Uh, I'm looking forward to part three. It looks gorgeous, part three. And I, I really am thinking about getting it day one, but I'm not 100% sure because uh, I spent a lot of money into the new Battlefield 1. I got two versions of that. So um, Next on the agenda is Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a huge fan myself, but what do you think about that one? Yeah, good game. I love all Assassin's Creed games, but that one is the Trophy Hunters. Is in the Trophy Hunters shelf because it's the only Assassin's Creed that you can get a platinum in no time and with um, even the feathers, the 100 feathers are quite easy because when you are doing the missions and the side missions and the things that you need to do to do the trophies, uh, mm. you can get roughly uh, 17, uh, uh, 17, 70 feathers, 75. Uh, so you can get pretty much all of it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see my. I think I. That's the one I played as part two, but I, I just couldn't do it. Um, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, PS3. Um, what do you think about that one? A good game. Good game. A good game that has a good graphics. Online is dead, so try to join some friends. Two yeah. of them is enough, because there is always players at level one hundred. Or more, maybe some some of them are at nine nine hundred ninety nine, mm -hmm. and they are uh, they stay they stay still in the map. So you just kill your friends and them, and you get all trophies. For me, Toro is the worst character to do the arcade mode because he's little. His attack sucks, but yeah, you can figure it out. Okay, The Walking Dead season one, I kind of passed up here, uh, but we talked about that, and we talked about the Wolf yeah. Among Us already. Um, that's the end of your trophy list. I'll kind of thumb through your list, um, but go ahead and talk a little bit more about what you're doing this year, what your goals, or if you've met if you met your goal, or if you're trying to get farther in your trophy hunting. And I'll kind of scroll back up here, and then I'll go through the whole list a little bit at a time. Uh, that way, people can see what you've done and and what you're kind of working on. So, go ahead and uh, take me through that right now. Well. <laughs> Yes, I met my goal. Um, it was not easy for me because I am a student. I had national exams. Um, it took me a lot of my time because I need to study. And yes, I passed the year, so I'm the 10th grade. Um, I achieved two of my two goals, my principal goals. I achieved level 20 mm -hmm. and I achieved 33 platinums. I had a promise that I, this year I would shift 22. So mm -hmm. I suppressed this goal way far. Yeah. 
So um, I think it's it. Um, my profile now, maybe it will be a kind of hard for me to grow because I need to play more and I need to do more platinums and I need to concentrate in my backlog. I'm trying to do those games that I'm stuck or they glitched. For example, mm-hmm. National Geographic, Steins Gate. I'm doing the things, but uh, I think I don't know if the European version is glitched for me or it's an error. But um, yeah, I'll, yes. I'll do I'll do a video and um, I've like I said I've never had a problem with Steins Gate. Uh, some people have. It's sometimes it's kind of hard to kind of read through the guide and try to do what they're saying without visually seeing it, um, especially with a game like that. So that's where I think I want to make a video guide, and um, I just need to get over the fact of being lazy and just do it. So I, yeah, I, I will hopefully cool. do that soon because I, I mean, for me, it only takes the game. The game only takes two hours for me. Uh, I'm one of the, I'm one of the faster times as far as most of the versions. So. Uh, it won't take me too long. It'll probably only take me, uh, with commentating and all that, it'll probably take me about three hours or so to make. But I'll make it in certain sh- sections, like three or four different sections. So, yeah, that would be quite good because um, I have that problem. It's time to get, and many people should have it. And um, I can't imagine it doing the game in Chinese or. <laughs> that should be hard. Yeah, no, nope. I do. I do. No, it's the same thing. If you if you just follow the guide. All right, well, I'm going to show off your trophies here. you got 33 Platinums, uh, 216 Golds, 954 Silvers, uh, 2,198 Bronzes. Um, I think it's probably, that's a very good uh, profile, and, and I could see you growing, and maybe we'll do a, a, a future revamping of your uh, trophy review, and we'll go through you again in maybe the six months and see how you're doing. Um, probably a good time to go ahead and say, um, you know your last thoughts, and we'll go ahead and sign out and cut this video off. Okay. So, um, to all the people that ha- are hearing us, please subscribe. Here in Corn Dog Sixty Nine Eight channel, he's a very good man and a good trophy hunter. Please like, share, and first of all, for you to be a trophy hunter, you don't need to be the best of the best. Please just. Think positive and play the games that you like. Don't be ashamed of Hannah Montana, uh, Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs, National Geographic. Play what you think is better for you. So please stay tuned. Bye. All right, that's good. And for me, uh, you guys, uh, I just wanted to try this. We had to do a second uh, take of this, uh, unfortunately, because the audio just wouldn't work. Uh, So hopefully it all works out this time. And hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, stay tuned for more. We'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.